Hi, all my preschoolers. It's another day, and we're going to have some fun today, and we're going to be talking about things we are grateful for. And that's things worth another word sometimes is we say, oh, thank you for that, because we're grateful for it. So hopefully today, you brought something to share for our joys and concerns, things that make us happy, things that ma that maybe make us sad, um, something that makes you happy that you're grateful for. So let's get started. Miss Susie brought a picture, because this is who I'm grateful for. This is my whole family, my mom and my dad and my kids, and my brothers, sisters, my nieces and nephews. So that's what I brought today for my joy of what I'm grateful for. I can only imagine what you have out there that you are grateful for. Maybe it's one of your really special stuffed animals. Um, maybe it's a toy that makes you so happy. Maybe it's a picture of your family. Maybe it's a pet, a cat, a dog. Oh, we have so many things that God has blessed us with that we are grateful for. Now, I'm not sure if anybody has any things making them sad out there today. That's what we call our concerns. But the awesome thing is we get to lift those up to God and God will help take care of those. So, what we're going to do now is whatever you brought today that you are grateful for, that we want to thank God for, we're going to take it in our hands, if you can, <laughs> and put it up in the air. And everyone's going to say, Thank you, God. Y'all say that? Thank you, God, for the things I'm grateful for. For the things I'm grateful for. And then we're going to say, thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the things that make me sad because I know you'll take care of them. For the things that make me sad because I know you'll take care of them. We love you, God. Amen. All right, my friends, now we can set beside us that thing we're grateful for, but sometimes it's always good to, to look at the things we're grateful for, because maybe when we're having a tough day, we just need to be reminded of all the wonderful things we're grateful for and thankful for. And now we're gonna read a book about that word, thank. Thank you. So when we are grateful for something, we usually say thank you. So we're going to read a book today called Squirrel Says Thank You. Let's see what Squirrel has to say here. Squirrel, squirrel, share today what the Bible has to say. See, Squirrel's looking at her Bible. I say thank you every day for the good that comes my way. So Squirrel says thank you just for the day. That's a great way to wake up. We can wake up each and every day and say, thank you God for another day. I count blessings. One, two, three. God gives such great things to me. You can see Squirrel is playing with Squirrel's friend. Looks like they have some puppets and some toys. See some toys down here? Squirrel's very thankful and says thank you for that. <gasps> Ice cream tastes so nice and sweet. I thank God for this cold treat. Oh, I love ice cream too. Oh, and look at all these yummy flavors Squirrel has on her cone. I wonder what your favorite flavor is. Mine is chocolate. I thank God for big tall trees and the cooling autumn breeze, which we're getting ready for, for fall to come. But look at the big tall trees. Maybe you have some in your yard. We thank God for all the things he created. And when snowflakes flutter by, I thank God I'm warm and dry. So when it gets really cold outside, we can be so thankful that we have a warm home and in this case, a warm bed to sleep in for Squirrel. I am glad for family too. People who say, I love you. 
there's squirrel getting a hug. And remember what we learned a few weeks ago that everybody's part of God's family. So we need to love everybody and tell them we love them. These are blessings, big and small. Thank you, God, for giving all. Look, looks like it's Christmas time for squirrel. Thanking God. God shares each of these with me. I say thank you gratefully. There's that grateful word, gratefully. See, we say thank you. Look, it looks like saying a prayer at night. That's one of the ways we can pray every day. We can just say a thank you prayer about something special we maybe got or something we're really happy about. We can just say thank you, God. And that's praying to God. So that is our special book today. Now, I want to teach you something else. So sometimes we can do thank you in a different way. So sometimes we can say it. And there's also what we call sign language, where we can use emotion to tell people thank you. So we're going to take our hand, just our hand like a palm of our hand, and we're going to turn it this way toward our face. And to say thank you in sign language, we put our fingers sort of close to where our lips are and open up. Thank you. Thank you. And we put a smile on our face because when we're saying thank you, we're usually happy about that. So we go, thank you. So we're going to practice this with a little game we're going to play. We're going to go on a gratefulness scavenger hunt. So you're going to have to go find some things in your house and bring them back. And then we're going to say thank you to God for those things. First thing you're going to go find is I want you to go find something that makes you smile. When you look at it, when you play with it, it just makes you smile. So everybody go and find something that makes them smile. I'm going to do the same. All right, hopefully you have found something that makes you smile. Say, I brought my friend Froggy. Look, look, even Froggy is smiling. So seeing Froggy smile, that makes me smile. So hopefully you found something that makes you smile. And now we're just going to use our sign language. And we're going to say, thank you, God. We can do that for the thing that makes us smile. Okay. Now you're gonna go find something else. Now you're gonna go find something that is your favorite color. So go find something that's your favorite color. I'm gonna go find something too. All right. Hopefully you are finding something that is your favorite color. Well, I actually found something that's not only my favorite color, but one of my favorite books. So I like blue. See how there's this beautiful blue. And what I love about this, this is my Bible. It has different shades of blue. Because I really like all kinds of colors of blue. Like, like I got a shirt on that's different colors of blue. So my favorite color is blue. I wonder what your favorite color is. I hope you found something. So now we're going to, what are we going to do? With a smile. We're going to say, thank you, God. There we go for our favorite color. So we found something that makes us smile, our favorite color, and now we're gonna go find our favorite toy. So go find your favorite toy that you love to play with. Now, for some of you, it may be too big. And if it's too big, then you can just tell me about it. But if you can go find your favorite toy, go find it. I'm gonna find one of mine. Mm, we are so lucky because we probably have lots of toys. We're pretty lucky, but we probably have a favorite. So you know what I brought? I brought a soccer ball because I like to play. I like to play outside and I love soccer. I love to play it and I love to watch it. So I brought a soccer ball. I wonder what you brought. But now what do we need to do? We need to thank God. We're going to say, smile. So I hope you found all those favorite things 
and things to be grateful for. We found something that makes us smile. We found our favorite color. We found our favorite toy. And we said, thank you. Very good. All right. Now we are going to learn a new verse today. So I'm going to stand up for it because I've just been sitting too long. Now you got up and ran around, but we're going to learn our new ver verse today. I'll say it, then you say it. And this is, um, this is a verse we sort of see a few times in the Bible in different ways. So here's how it goes. Give thanks to the Lord. Say that. Give thanks to the Lord. Now listen. For his steadfast love endures forever. I know those are big words. For his steadfast love endures forever. So try this again. Listen to me. Give thanks to the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord. Now listen again. For his steadfast love endures forever. For his steadfast love endures forever. So we give thanks to God. And, and what all those words are is he just loves us always. Always, always, always. God loves us always. So I'm going to say the whole thing. And then you can say it after me. Give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. Okay, now we're going to try to whisper it. I'll say it, then you say it. Give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. Try that. Now our favorite, we're going to yell it out. Give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. Yell it out. Give thanks to the Lord for his steadfast love endures forever. Very good. So what we're going to remember is that we thank God because he loves us, loves us, loves us always, no matter what, forever. So don't you forget that. God loves you forever and ever and ever, no matter what. So let's finish up today, friends, with a prayer. So put your hands in the air. It's time to say a prayer. And I'm going to say this prayer, and then I'm going to ask that you join me on the Amen. So fold your hands and bow your head, and here we go. Dear God, Thank you for all you have given me. I am very grateful. I love you, God. And we all say together, Amen. My preschool friends, it was so wonderful spending the day with you. Something I'm grateful for is each and every one of you. And I can't wait till we're all back together again. But don't you ever forget that God loves you always and forever. We'll see you next time.